So how's it going? This is episode two of the Black Bass Fisherman. And I want to go through a little bit of detail with you on my background. <clears throat> so I started fishing at age seven, 1987. And I started out fishing for surf perch and striped bass from the beach and rocky terrain. And then from there, I graduated to trout and catfish when I was 12 to 13. And finally graduated to bass, all species of largemouth and smallmouth and spotted bass, when I was 21. But what I want to go over with you is how to hold your tackle with the most comfortable bag, in my opinion. So I know a lot of people buy tackle boxes that you can hold in your hand. Other people buy tackle boxes that come with shoulder straps. I prefer, for bank fishing, backpacks. Any good backpack will do as long as it has a minimum of four pockets on the outside. So this is a tactical backpack, camo green, and this is what I use when I do any of my bank fishing. And it's got a one deep pocket, two deep pockets, and two more pockets that I hold things in. So I'm gonna go over with you. It's really secure, really rugged. I've thrown this thing around, dropped it, dragged it, and there's no rips or tears in it. I've owned it for over three years. And it comes with these clips that you can tighten or loosen, whatever you wanna do. And it also has a nice padding for the straps. It's got padding on it for the straps when you wear it. And I love these paddings. They're fully adjustable. And everything's just real tough about it. It also has a pad on the part that sits against your back while you're walking. So if you're going to be doing any kind of bass or trout fishing when you're casting lures... I recommend a backpack. If you want a shoulder strap tackle box, for me, that's more for bait fishing and sitting in a chair and relaxing. But if you're going to run and gun on the bank, man, you need a backpack. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up the bottom zipper pocket. And what I keep in there is a big Sharpie for when I'm throwing topwater frogs, I can color the green, The I use orange braided line for topwater frogs. So I use this black Sharpie to color the line about 10 feet from the lure up to the rod on the line. The second thing I have in here is a small set of Ropala scissors, super sharp, Cuts braided line easily, fluorocarbon, mono, anything you're fishing with. The third thing that's in this small pocket is a multi-tool. And I prefer this over just a regular pair of needle nose because it's got so many tools in it. You know, it's got a knife, a saw, needle nose, Phillip head screwdriver, a slotted head screwdriver, and it just folds up real nice. This one's made by Stanley, and I like Stanley. You can get these at Walmart for about $14 to $16.99. Now the next pocket I'm gonna go into, as you can see, that was already one pocket. This is pocket number two. The next pocket holds all of my drop shot worms, and this, little case I have fits about 25 bags so I have 25 bags of drop shot worms different lengths different sizes different thicknesses different colors and this one is made by tackle logic tour worm bag and this is where I keep my drop shot stuff so then now I'm gonna go in to the next pocket which is on top. And this is where I keep all of my hooks. I use Owner and Gamagatsu and some Eagle Claw, but those are the three manufacturers I really like. And number one on that list is Owner. And number two is Gamagatsu. And then I also keep my Wacky Rig tool 
in there too. And this is for sliding the O-rings on your wacky rig worms. So that's in pocket number three. That's why I told you it's important to find a backpack that's got at least four pockets. Now, we're gonna go to pocket number four. And for this pocket, I've used it to keep spare lures in. So, this is for spare lures that have not been opened just in case you get on a hot bite. You know, you get on a hot bite and you don't have the tackle in your backpack that, you know, you would use. Then you just carry a couple spares. So one spare I always carry is a chatterbait. This right here is a 3 8 ounce Z-Man chatterbait. Green pumpkin shad. The next lure I carry is a square bill made by Berkeley. And it's a silent bait floating, and it dives about four to five feet. The next bait that I use is a spinner bait in chartreuse and blue. And the next final bait I keep in my bag for spare lures is a mega bass jerk bait. This is a mega bass vision. 110 jerk bait catches a lot of fish, but these are really expensive. We'll go more to, in tune to jerk bait fishing on another video, and I'll get into you what jerk baits are worth the money and what jerk baits you can get by with without spending an arm and a leg. Now, my last pocket is the biggest pocket in my bag, it's the biggest pocket. And what I keep in there are my fishing gloves. These are solar fishing gloves made from Glacier. You know, UPF 50 protection. And I've chosen the white and blue and gray. That's one item that I always keep in there. The next item I keep in there is a big bag of different trailers. These are crawdad trailers, bluegill tra trailers, and grub trailers. Different manufacturers, you use what you like. I prefer Power Bait and Strike King. And let's see, in this bag, I have wacky rig stuff and these are basically with ultra shaky heads made by owner they're called ultra shaky heads made by owner they're basically a one fourth ounce jig head with a screw top four aught and I screw in a Bass Pro Shops five inch stick worm to that and I've had Great success doing that. Great success. Um, so let me get this stuff put up here. And then um, that was just a drop shot weight that I put away. And then the last, well, the second to last thing I have is basically... A Plano box. This is a Plano 370 series Pro Latch stowaway system. Plano 370, 700, 3700 box. And basically, what I have in here are deep diving crankbaits, lipless crankbaits, square bills. I have jerk baits, spinner baits, and swim baits in here. And that goes in the backpack. I mean, it's unimaginable how much stuff you could fit in the backpack when you really get down to the nooks and crannies. There's a lot of things you could fit in the backpack. You know, I've got one more pocket on the inside here, and that's basically just 
this last pocket in here is weights that I use for um, basically they're just weights I use for drop shotting and Texas rig fishing that's what this last bag pocket is I've got tungsten weights in here drop shot weights in here and that's basically where I keep all my drop shot and bullet weights I've switched over to tungsten it took a long time because how expensive they are but I did make the switch and then basically you just get your backpack as you see I fit so much stuff in this backpack you know it's amazing and it zips right up easy to carry easy to handle easy on the back and shoulders and that's pretty much what I use you know all the time is mostly for me a backpack and what I'm doing is snapping the snaps in and this makes sure even if it comes unzipped you can tighten this down and it would keep your backpack closed as you can cinch it down all around now last but not least I had thought I had yeah on my backpack I've got Huh. Thought I had it in there. Let me check here. Well, basically, the last thing you need to carry with you is a knife. You need to carry some kind of a knife every time you go to the outdoors. A pocket knife, a Gerber, you know, something like that. Something quick and easy that you can put away, take out. And I have one, I just can't find it right now, but it's basically a knife I bought on Amazon. And it cost about $22.99, great for fishing. And that's it, folks, for now. That's the backpack and how I use it to travel and to fish. And I want to thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Black Bass. Tune in next time with The Black Bass in about... 10 to 7 days I got some things coming online and when I get those I'm going to do another reveal of cold weather fishing. See you later.